This enclosure is perfect for working professionals in the tech industry or creators who need fast and reliable storage. First, let me show you everything that's included in the package. And I'll also install this four terabyte NVMe SSD so that you can see how easy it is to use this enclosure. Afterwards, I will tell you all the technical details you need to know about this drive so you can make an informed purchasing decision. So the first thing you get here is two small screws for securing the NVMe drive to the enclosure. You also get the small heat sink or heat spreader that you would place on top of your NVMe drive to keep it cool. You also get the small Phillips screwdriver, which is 3.0 by 30 millimeters. And one thing I really like about this enclosure is this USB cable. This cable allows you to carry one single cable to use, whether you're connecting this enclosure to a USB-C connection or USB-A. As we see here, this is a USB-C connector, which connects directly to the enclosure. But then you have this end, which is really great because it has a built-in adapter so you actually pull it out. The actual cable is terminated in USB-C, but you get this USB-C to USB-A adapter. And the nice thing is that it has this cable connected to it so that you don't lose this adapter. A lot of times, a small adapter like this, you're gonna lose, you're gonna misplace it, but not with this. You could just keep it on there, just set it aside when you're connecting to your device. And when you need to use USB-A, you just go ahead and plug it back in and you're good to go. And here is the actual enclosure itself. It's made out of an aluminum metal alloy and it has some stripes cut into it to improve heat dissipation. The other thing you'll notice is that this enclosure is quite thick and you actually want that because if you've worked with NVMe drives before, you know that they get extremely hot when doing large data transfers or they're under heavy use. One of the main problems with NVMe drives is dealing with the heat and heat dissipation so that you don't get decreased performance. So this enclosure was definitely built with that in mind. And it's a pretty simple enclosure. At the bottom here, you have a USB-C connection with an LED. In the back here, there's a screw securing the back cover to the enclosure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this screw so I can remove the back cover and install this four terabyte NVMe SSD onto this enclosure. And here's a circuit board for the enclosure. As you can see here, this is where the NVMe drive is gonna connect. And on the other side is where you would screw down the NVMe drive. Notice that there is only one position to screw down the NVMe drive. That means that this enclosure only supports the 2280 length for NVMe drives. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my four terabyte NVMe SSD right here. Now before screwing the NVMe drive onto the enclosure, you're gonna to wanna to take your heat spreader and slide it into the NVMe drive for added cooling. So you just kinda of place it here and you'll feel it go into a slot. And there it is, it just slides in easily. And you'll wanna center it covering up pretty much where the sticker is on the NVMe drive. And there we go, it should look like that. Now you wanna hold down this NVMe drive with one finger and then use the included screwdriver to install the screw and screw it in nice and tight. And this is what it should look like once you're done. Okay, to put back the cover, you're gonna wanna slide in this top portion here with a little lip on top and then angle it in and then just drop it in. Then use the included screwdriver to secure it back in place. Finally, connect the USB-C cable to the enclosure and you're ready to go with your Oracle USB enclosure with whatever NVMe drive you decide to put in. So now let me talk about the technical details of this enclosure. This is not your typical enclosure. It's a high-end enclosure. It can reach very high data transfer speeds. So one of the most important features of this enclosure is its speed. With a theoretical read and write speed of up to 3000 megabytes per second, you can transfer large files quickly and efficiently. This makes it perfect for video editors, photographers, and other creatives who need to move large files around.